वेलकम टू द लेटेस्ट अपडेट प्रोग्राम द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट सिंथेटिक एम्ब्रियो विद ब्रेन एंड बीटिंग हार्ट रिसेंटली रिसर्चर्स फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैम्ब्रिज डेवलप्ड सिंथेटिक एम्ब्रियो दिस न्यूली डेवलप्ड एम्ब्रियो हैज अ ब्रेन अ बीटिंग हार्ट एंड द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स फॉर एवरी अदर ऑर्गन इन द बॉडी द रिसर्च वॉज पब्लिश इन द जर्नल नेचर द टीम डेवलप द एम्ब्रियो मॉडल विदाउट एग्स और स्पर्म एंड इंस्टेड यूज स्टेम सेल्स The new model provides a novel way for future researchers to create and research the earliest stages of development. The researchers mimicked natural processes in the lab by guiding the three types of stem cells found in early mammalian development. The scientists were able to get the stem cells to talk to each other by inducing the expression of a particular set of genes. This model gives access to the developing structure at a stage when the tiny embryo implants into the mother's womb it remains completely visible allowing us to see the embryo's progression through that developmental stage this accessibility allows manipulation of genes to understand their developmental roles in a model experimental system significantly three different stem cell types begin to form in the first week following fertilization one of these will eventually develop into the bodily tissues while the other two support the embryo's development one of these extra embryonic stem cell types will become the placenta which connects the fetus to the mother and provides oxygen and nutrients the second is the yolk sac where the embryo grows and where it get its nutrients from in early development many pregnancies fail at the point when the three types of stem cells begin to send mechanical and chemical signals to each other The result of the research could help researchers understand why some embryos fail while other go on to develop into healthy pregnancies. The result could be used to guide the repair and development of synthetic human organs for transplantation.